a unique rifle and member of the S-80 family of weapons that has become the standard issue service rifle of the armed forces of Britain. A weapon that made its way into our beloved Battlefield games ever since Battlefield 2. Ladies and gentlemen, today on Weapon History, we are going to be taking a look at the L85A2. The L85A2, a favorite amongst many Battlefield players, ideal for all medium to long range engagements as well as the occasional CQB encounter. This weapon is able to perform well in virtually every situation. Now let's take a look at some of the weapon statistics to understand why this weapon is able to perform so well on the battlefield. The L85A2 has a max damage of 25 and a minimum of 28, with the max damage dropping off at 8 meters and comes to a complete stop at 55. The more than ideal fire rate of 750 rounds per minute makes this weapon one of the most effective at range to take down enemies fast, while still maintaining its accuracy, especially with its muzzle velocity of 640 meters per second. The magazine holds 30 rounds and the reload times are 2.75 and 3.75 when the weapon is completely dry. One of the many advantages of using the L85A2 is that you won't have to deal with any major recoil. The weapon likes to pull straight up and doesn't suffer from any horizontal recoil, which makes it very easy to control this weapon during combat and allows you to fire longer bursts while still maintaining accuracy. But where does this rifle originate from? And who are the people behind the weapon we all know today as the L85A2? The weapon is part of the SA-80 family and is divided into two versions, the L85 and L86, one being an infantry rifle and the other a light support weapon. The country of origin is the United Kingdom, designed by both BAE Systems and Heckler und Koch. There is also a shorter carbine variant of the rifle used by helicopter and tank crew members as well as Royal Marine boarding parties known as the L22A1 and L22A2. The L85A2 is of the bullpup configuration with a single fire selector that can be set to two settings, single and auto fire. The rifle can be fitted with any Stanag magazine as well as the AG36 under barrel grenade launcher, which reportedly enhances the somewhat poor balance of the weapon. All SA-80 rifles are equipped with SUSAT sights upon shipping, and according to operator reports, one of the best features about this weapon. It must also be noted that the rifle performs extremely well in CQB situations, as it can be brought up to the sight line very easily and quickly, which is more than useful when the urban nature of battle means shots have to be taken in seconds. However, this weapon didn't always perform all that well during combat, some reports of component failure in the original design have been noted, such as the cocking handle falling off or bits and pieces coming loose, rendering the weapon useless during combat. One particular annoyance was the fact that the magazine would often come loose and fall out of the weapon when soldiers held the weapon across the chest due to the location of the magazine release. Now, due to many of these failures occurring, many soldiers have demanded that the SA-80 weapons were to be replaced by alternative weapons such as the G-36, or the M16. Now at one point there was even some speculation that the UK would replace all SA-80 weapons with the G36 or a similar weapon. However, this was dispelled by the improvement program undertaken by HNK, which improved and updated almost all rifles to the improved A2 variant. This collaboration with HNK made the A2 versions one of the most reliable weapon systems in the world. And the A2 variants are still in use today by all UK armed forces as well as the Jamaican Defence Force, and the SA-80s have been used in all conflicts in which the British Army has been involved in since the introduction in the mid-80s. Various deployments include Northern Ireland, the First Gulf War, Kosovo, Sierra Leone, Afghanistan, and Iraq. Ever since the mid-80s, the SA-80 weapons underwent many changes, making the L85A2 today one of the best engineered and reliable weapons in the world. But let me know what you think of this weapon in the comments down below and tell me why this British rifle is your go-to weapon on the battlefield. Also be sure to leave a like on the video if you enjoyed this week's episode of Weapon History and be sure to tune in next time when we take a look at the All-American M16. I've been your host Dolce and I'll see you in the next video.